Hi there, this is Art and Such with my Rainbow Loom tutorial for Geronimo Stilton. For this pattern, you're going to need your loom in the offset configuration, a couple of hooks or holding hooks, beads or bands for the eyes, and I will be using a couple of small white beads with little eyes drawn on using a black marker, black permanent marker. We have a thin gauge wire for the glasses and whiskers. If you, you'll want something that's sturdy, but something that's malleable so you can get it into shape. Uh, get on hand some dental floss, some scissors, a couple of red bands, some brown or caramel I'm using for his fur. You'll also need a little bit of white. And this is for the underside of on the chin and for his shirt. Dark green, and I'm using light green for the pants, but you can keep it all in the same color if you want. And I'm using a pinky skin tone for the inner part of the ears. You can use any shade of pink. A couple of black bands, I think just one you'll need for the nose. And a curly one here. And optional is a couple of little jeweled beads for the buttons. I'll show you how to put those on later. Uh, with that, I think we are all set to begin. So we're going to do the nose first because I want that to be the last thing that we take off our hook. We're going to start with a single brown. Sorry, a single black, wrap it four times onto your hook and come over to your loom here. <clears throat> and now at the bottom of your loom, we're going to count up four pegs and place a doubled over single caramel from that fourth one from the bottom to the third one from the bottom. Repeat that underneath. And we're going to duplicate this on the other side. So on your right side, two down. And in the middle, you'll start at the third peg from the bottom and come down with two doubled over singles again, all brown. Get another band, double it over. And you'll go from the second peg from the bottom on the side to the bottom most one in the middle. And repeat on the right. Cap it off with, a with that black band. So now you're going to take this and transfer it off of your hook onto the bottom center peg here. Now we want to take a single brown Double it over onto itself and bring it across all of your second pegs from the bottom. So it forms this little pretty triangle and we'll do this one more time and create an upside down triangle that overlaps it and this goes on to your third pegs up on either side and your second peg up in the middle. From here you need to grab your hook, get it under your black band Find your top two or your doubled over single brown, bring it up and to the right. Go in and get your next one and bring it up and to the left. And then you can go up, loop up on each of those three rows and push back those holding bands when you get to them in the center there. So you just want the band that's coming from the peg above, it's right on the bottom, push back the rest and take only that piece. Now we're going to get a hook, this is my holding hook, I'm putting it through the band on the top right, through the band on the center, but I'm staying on top of the holding band, and then I'll grab the ones on the left, and we take it off carefully. And we're going to create the white underside, which is optional. You don't have to have this part, but I wanted to try and keep it close to the character. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Decide which part you want on the bottom. And I'm going to keep 
this piece facing up because the nose is more prominent here. So I'll flip this over and I'm going to take my hook through on either side. I'll take, go under a couple of bands on the far side of each, each end here. <clears throat> and we're going to take a single white, double it over and put it on the end of the hook and then this gets pulled underneath the bands that we've put our our hook under. Hold on to the left side and you can put it on a hook if it's easier. And with the other side we're gonna go or you can put these on um, a C-clip while you wait. Go under again closer to the nose. Slip under two pieces. Slip under two pieces. You are gonna have some tension here so just be careful. And put the other side of your white back on. And we're going to take another doubled over single. If you're finding this really hard, you can just keep it. Um, you don't have to double it over, but it's going to be really loose. Loose that way is all. I've put my new white on the end of the hook, and I'm going to slide it through everything else that's on my hook right now. And then we're going to pull one side. So the first two bands are going to come under the other two. I'm going to pop these over the end of the hook. And I'm going to slip this up. And we'll just hold that for one second because now we're going to take a single. And we're going to slide the first, um, the first half of these, the first six of these bands or loops off of the hook and onto this single. You can use a double if you want it to be extra secure. Two, four. I'm going to pop this off for a second and put it onto the other hook that has the white bands and I'm going to slide the white bands on top. I'll say it again, this is hard stuff, so if you're having a really terrible time, you can always undo this and just have a straight brown piece or just leave it the way it is with the brown uh, and slide all the brown pieces onto a single. I'm going to take this brown loop that's come through the first half of the browns and through the one white and put it back onto the hook that's holding my browns. And I'm going to slide this through all the rest of my brown pieces and if you're still with me, this is the hardest part and you've already finished it or we're just about finished it anyway. Last one. And there is our nose and we've got a nice little white underside. And you can leave this on your holding hook for now. We're gonna do our ears next. We have some doubled over bands in this section but as I said, the, the nose there was the hardest part so we're, we're good from here. Come to the top of your loom and take a single brown and Connect it from the first peg to the second peg in the middle. Now we're going to double some more bands over, so take a single brown, double it, and bring it from the second peg in the center to the second on the side. Repeat on the left, and come down with two doubled over bands on either side. We will, we will have to make two of these, and sorry guys, but I'll be here making them with you. We'll just move it a little faster the next time around if we can. Come in with a doubled over single caramel or brown from the fourth side to the fifth center. We're going to sort of close this up. Do the same on the right side. And you're going to switch to your inner ear color and come down three times with doubled over singles, starting at the second peg down. Uh, in the middle. <clears throat> Get a single brown and cap off your fifth center peg where all of your bands congregate. I'm going to wrap it about four times. We have a lot of tension here so I don't want my bands to break but if you feel you can make it a little bit tighter uh, you can certainly go for that. 
we need a couple of holding bands, single brown, doubled over, stretch it across all of your fourth pegs to make a triangle, and repeat above on your third pegs from the, if you're counting from the top of the leg. And there's one ear. We're going to loop up, so go under your brown cap and get your top pinks. We're going to bring those forward. I think I'm going to have to do them. Well, here, I'll just pop it out to the side again. This helps to separate the bands from each other when you stretch them a little bit. And we're going to loop forward two times in the middle. And then go back in the, in the center bottom. And you're going for the top, next top ones, which are rightwards and the ones that go to the left next. And you'll loop up on either side, push back everything but your bottom ones. And you can see again, my the open part of my hook is facing up. It's always facing in the direction that you wanna loop. And we need to bring this band over up diagonally from the second side to the second center. We'll repeat this all on the left side as well. Inwards. Go back to that third peg down in the middle, bring up your pink, and reach in, get your bottom single brown from above, and that's the band that's going to hold everything together. Doesn't want to be cut today. There. We have a lot, a lot of tension here, so... Do not snap or pop everything right off. We're going to start by easing off the sides using the back of the hook. And then we go to the second peg down and ease the bands off. Don't lose your top band. If you need to, you can put that on another hook first. Ease it off the side, ease it off the side, and get that bottom one. And you can see I'm holding this down so it doesn't snap forward. Then you can remove it. Uh, straighten it if need be and put this onto your holding hook with your nose. We need one more ear so we'll do that together quickly here. Single, top center to the second one. Doubled over singles coming down, second center to the second side. Two doubled over bands on either side with your outer ear color still. Doubled over singles meeting in from the fourth sides to the fifth center. Switch to your inner ear color, come down three times, starting at the second center. Tap off the bottom with the brown. One, two, three. Tighter if you like. Oops. Trying to get that last one there. Two doubled over holding bands across your fourth pegs down. Well, one across the fourth pegs down, the second one is going to be on your third pegs down. And we can start to loop again. Exact same process, you go for your top ones first and those are the pinks. And got one, and there's the other. Loop up once more in the middle, come back in the bottom and loop to the right, loop to the left, loop up on the side two times, and once into the middle, loop up the other side to the middle, loop that last pink or skin tone and bring your final single through and carefully 
release your bands using the back of your hook. You can feel there's definitely a lot of tension here. My loom is starting to get shaky even. And pop it off and onto your holding hook. Slide these down a little bit, and we can make our. Um, let's make our legs next. So we're gonna take a single. I use one here or two. Um, that looks like two. Two bands. Wrap onto your hook. One, two, three times. You can leave it at two wraps if that's easier. Pull it onto two brown bands, and uh, we'll, we'll do it this way. Put it back, take a single, <clears throat> I was trying to see whether I used one or two, I'll do two again, two bands, wrap them again, one, two, three, and slide one end of your paw bottom over it. We're going to do this one more time, so slide this all onto two single brown bands. Try and keep your pieces in the middle as best you can. And last time, we need two bands wrapped. One, two, three times. Pull one end over. And we're going to bring this all onto a doubled over single brown. So pull it onto itself, loop it around. Slide these through and try and keep it in order as best you can. That is one foot and we need a leg to go with that. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to put it onto five sets of your pants color. I'm using a lighter green for the pants so I'm going to take two bands of that color, slide it through. And did I say five there? Five. So we need four more sets is two, slide it through. This is our third one. Four. And five. And this can go onto your holding hook and we'll do another leg the same way. Two brown, wrap three times, hold on to two brown, replace, bring on another two and wrap them, one, two, three, pull one end over, but keep it on the hook, pull this on to two more browns, replace, and last time with the loop in here, let's get another two. One, two, three. Pull one side over and bring it onto a doubled over single. Five sets of double or two green bands for the pants. Two. holding hook and we can make our arms next. We start with two brown bands or four colored bands. Wrap them one, two, three times. Pull it on to double browns. Pull it on to two whites. This is for the little cuff. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six sets of dark brown. And double bands each time. So take two bands, go through, and five more sets. For a total of six. 
Don't you just love it when the, the arm is really straightforward, easy like that? We need one more arm, which we'll do, we can do quickly. Two brown, wrap three times. Pulled on to two. Hold on to two white. And hold on to six sets of double dark green bats. And last one. Alright, pop that onto your holding hook, and I think we have pretty well all of our extension pieces done. I'm going to show you one more thing before we start uh, going back to the loom here, and that is if you want your little buttons here, your little beads, the way to attach those to your, your bands is to take a piece of dental floss or a thin wire. You're going to run it through the bead run it through your band, bring it back over, and slide it back through your bead from the opposite direction. So it's formed a loop around both. And bring your bead to the middle, and you can just put this on the side for now, and then it will be ready for you when we get to the vest part. I'm going to make all three of them now, and that's the number that I've used. You can always switch it around. Um, according to the beads that you're using or the effect you're trying to get. If you want to use larger beads, you can, but I'll tell you that might get a little bit awkward here. And you can use tiny seed beads, but they will be harder to get on and um, they won't show up as well. These ones are just, a, I don't know, a couple of millimeters in size, maybe three millimeters wide. Does that sound right? Yeah, about three millimeters. Okay, put those down on the side and we're going to come to the loom and start getting things set up here. <clears throat> so we need to start at the top of the loom with two bands of the fur color. I'm still using my caramel brown. Bring them from the top center to the top right and repeat top center to top left. Come down on each row two times with double brown bands. And get your white bands ready. We're going to come down twice in the middle. <coughs> And once on either side, double bounds again. And get two more sets. We're going to take two bands, bring it from the fourth side to the fifth center, and repeat on the other side. Push those down a little bit. And get another two whites, bring them from the fifth center to the fifth side, so it comes down diagonally and repeat it over to the to the left here. Two sets of double white in the middle starting at the fifth down. <clears throat> and on either side we'll be well on each of our rows we're switching to green now. So take your dark green and we come down four times on the left side starting at the fifth peg down, double band still. And repeat on the opposite side. In the middle, we come down three times, but we if you're adding your buttons, you'll need to pay attention here because we're only going to place 
one single green and then put a single beaded or buttoned piece on top of that. And repeat underneath two more times, a single band and then a single beaded band. And last one, let's get one less stretchy here, single and a single beaded. Let's switch to our neon green and we're gonna get, or our lighter green, two bands in the middle, come down once and then twice. Come down twice on either side. Let me bring these a little closer. Double bands. And actually we can we can go right to the bottom of the loom now using double light green on either side, but leave your center, your center space where it is. Take two bands and count up two pegs from the bottom of your loom. Go from there to the second peg from the bottom in this in the middle. And we're going to do that on the other side. So this goes from the, the third peg from the bottom on the right to the second peg in the middle, just so that you have one peg left underneath. And I think we're ready to start adding our pieces before we uh, before we do any more. Maybe we'll put on our holding bands next and then we'll do that. So I'm just using single bands. I'm not going to double them over. And this will go across the third pegs from the bottom of the loom. It's light green. It's just a single. We need a cat band on the bottom center. Let's take a single, wrap it around one, two, three times. Place another single there and we'll switch to our dark green for our next ones. Two, three, you can actually use dark greens all the way until you reach the arm section here. Or the, um, we're doing it up until the sixth peg down. On our face, if you want the face to be a little bit tighter, you can use doubled over bands. I'm just using singles and I'm using white for my bottom too. Try and find one that isn't too stretchy. So this will go across the fourth pegs and across the third pegs. This is counting downwards and a single brown for the second pegs down. Okay, let's start putting some of our, some of our additions on here your arms, which should be at the end of your hook. And they have the small brown piece at the end and the little bit of white. We'll go on to your fifth pegs on either side. And you're just gonna transfer all of the bands off of your hook for the dark green. Do that again on the right side and turn your loom around. Right at the bottom, you can place your light green leg extension on the bottom side. And again, onto the other side, I'm gonna sort of flip this on upside down so that my leg's pointing the way that I want it to. Your ears can go on the top side pegs. Try and get it facing the way you want it to now. So you can always turn it backwards, which is I think what I'm gonna do, if that's your preference. And on the other side, same thing. And we're going to be adding our nose just a little bit later. And our eyes as well. Alright, we have a couple more things to do and then we can start looping up. So you're going to make the tie. We take a red, wrap it one, two, three times. You can use two bands together if you want it to be a little bit thicker. And then we'll slide this on to two bands, also red and hold on to the bottom for a second. Take the top part and pop it onto your fifth center peg. <coughs> and bring that red up. 
Now this last piece here, we're just gonna leave it loose. If you feel more comfortable, you can put it onto a C-clip for now. We can, uh, we'll attach this part on after it's been looped up, okay? For our eyes, if you're using bands, you can take each of your colored bands and wrap them three times onto your hook and slide onto <clears throat> a single brown. Oops. If you're using beads with a large hole, you can do the same thing. And these are gonna go onto your second pegs down. I'm using my little round white beads and for that I'll be employing the same technique we, we did to get the buttons on. Now my eyes already have little pupils drawn on, um, just because I use these on another project, but if you're making making beads and putting the eyes on, you can always draw them on later. It's a little easier to align it. Bring your thread or wire through both beads and then through your band, brown band, and bring it over and back through both of them until you can slide them onto the middle. Stretch this from your second peg to your second peg. You can get your hook in between the two and we'll bring one side of the band under the peg below. I'm just turning my pupils around. This is why it's easier to put the color on after, but it, it works out the same really. Now we can start to loop finally. So let's come, hmm. Let's come in at the center bottom, that second peg from the base. You'll go under your cat band and look for your top two greens, which we will need to bring through the cat band up and over to the right. And we'll do the same thing for the next two. And they go to the left and go through one last time after that. We are, push those down a little bit, go through one last time, and we need the last, the bottom two, they go up, and we'll go up one more time in the middle for now. Then let's do our sides, so go under your leg, pull it back, take your bottom two green and bring them through and upwards. Come forward, get your next bottom two, and we're just going to keep looping through to the top of the, where the arm section is. So get all of your dark greens, bottom two bands only. And we're gonna get these white diagonal bands, pull them through the arm piece and to the center. I'm actually gonna slip this tie piece right over. And repeat on the right side, we'll come up all the way. Starting with the bands that are under the leg. And moving upward into the dark green and all the way to the arm again. And last two white ones, bring them center. And I'm going to bring my, my red tie piece through. Try and do that without losing the white. Now in the middle, if you're using the beads, what you're gonna do is loop your first two bands up. And then you're going to go under the bands on the peg below. And this takes a little bit of fiddling and practice, but we're basically gonna try and kind of hook and pull that bead under the, the next set of bands down. and that way it'll show up more in the top section. Go through the next one, loop forward, and then come inside the set of bands below and try and catch that bead and pull it through. And I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do this. If you find out what it is, let me know. Last set with the, band, with the beads and hook it 
people up and then hook them through from underneath. And we can come up two more times just with our white bands and stop right on top of the red here. And bringing that red piece through again. We could almost have put it on at this point, but it's all, it's all good. Before we put our nose piece on, we need to loop up the first couple of sections of the face. So what you'll need to do is look for your top bands, which are coming from the left this time. We're going to reach into all of the white bands from the body. Collect your top two. And this is going to be a little tricky. Um, I'm going to pull this up to the side a little to see it. Press back everything on top and take the two whites that are coming from the left and bring them back over onto the left. For what it's worth, this is the hardest set of the section. Once you get these top ones, the rest should come a little more easily. Which isn't very much of a comfort to me now. And there we are. Make sure you've got two over and then <coughs> we'll go back for the next two which are from the right. And loop up in the center one time. And then we're going to come up one time on with each set of the whites. So once more in the middle and once more on each side until your whites are looped up and then we can <clears throat> we can take our funny little nose piece here and you're gonna tilt it so that the white part is facing down and you're going to put either side of your single band onto your third peg down. I'm actually gonna do one more thing here. Um, let's see if there's an easier way. Um, okay. I'm going to actually, hmm. no, we'll do it like this. Okay, press it down, get it on firm. And we're gonna loop up once on either side to secure this into place. So get your bottom two brown, and bring it forward. Bottom two brown, bring it forward. Now in the center, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn this upside down. You're going to look for the middle space of your nose piece, right where the white is here. Get your hook inside, and you're going to find those top two whites and pull it through that space. And replace it onto the center, and that will keep this firm in place. And I think that's where we want this. And then you go back in the middle, loop up once and twice to the top. And on either side, we need one more loop up. and one loop inwards diagonally. And that's from the top side peg to the top center peg. Take a single brown and get it on your finger and with your hook, point the open part away from you and slide it through all of the bands on your top center peg. Put your single on the end and slide it carefully up and through catch the other side and pull one end over the other to create your slip knot. Now we can carefully take this off the loom and we just have a couple of pieces to secure here or add before we're done. Be extra careful when you get to the neck area because we've got a lot of bands on those couple of pegs. There we are. So at this point you can draw the pupils onto your eyes. Just take your Sharpie, make a little dot. Your securing band can be hidden at the back. Take your hook, put it under a couple of other bands and slide that through. I'm actually going to slide this or hide this a little bit lower because then we can connect it with our tie piece. 
You'll see what I mean in just a minute. Okay, let's put that onto a C clip. Now, as for your tie on the front of the body, you want to <clears throat> we want to push the tie part up. Take the C-clip off of your bottom piece. And we're gonna come through from the back. I've got a loose white here, I'm gonna tie that in as well. Grab your whites and pull them carefully to the back of your body, right where the, right where the green is here. Okay. And this can be woven in loosely and put onto the same C-clip that you used the first time, or you can put a new C-clip on if you if that's easier for you. So I'm gonna slip it under a couple of bands until it reaches the C-clip and then we'll pop it, pop it on. If you have any loose bands, you'll want to tuck them in, hide them in right now. They can be fixed with um, a C clip at the back. For the tail, you're going to take a single brown, stretch it out really good, or get a stretched out brand, cut it in half, decide where you want it to go. Get your hook under a couple of green bands in the center of the back. This is the back we're looking at. And we're going to kind of pull that band underneath. And then basically you just tie a couple of knots and try and keep it close to the end so that um, so that it stays long. So wrap it around your finger, take the short end, put it on the top of your finger and roll it through. And you can do two or three knots or as many as you'd like. You can cut your tail shorter or leave it longer. I'll show you, and then you want to trim off your excess. I'll show you an alternative way to make the tail is to take a single, wrap it really tightly, one, two, three, four times. <coughs> Sorry. Um, put it onto a chain of doubled over singles. This will give you a thicker tail. This is a more traditional rainbow loom method, I guess. And when you have the desired length, you can even put a single through those if you want or um, whatever. And you go under a couple of bands at the back. Sorry, you would take this off, go, we'll just put a single on the end to make this easier to show. <clears throat> Could go through a couple of bands at the back, slide your single through and pop it over the top of your tail. But I think the, the thin one is more kind of more fitting. Let's get this one off here and I will show you how to make the glasses. And then we're all done. So sweet. Okay. So I just have a really thin gauge wire here. It's easy to manipulate. I'm afraid it's not very strong though. I'm gonna cut a couple of inches. You can always make it shorter if you need. And you'll take a hook or a pencil, I'll use my thin hook, and you're gonna wrap a couple of little circles onto here. So there's one, here's two. You'll have to play around for the, the size that you want. And as I say, hopefully your wire's a little stronger than mine. And what's really cool is this doubles as the glasses and the whiskers. You're gonna find a couple of spaces on the nose. And while trying to keep this in shape, which is the hard part, you need to pop it through, slide it down and kind of adjust the shape. And you can trim your whiskers to the length that you'd like. Uh, if you want more whiskers, you can always put more wire through or you can leave the whiskers out altogether. At any rate, your Geronimo Stilton is complete.
So I thank you for watching. Um, please check out some of my other tutorials.